What's up guys, it's day 162 on our journey to 2000 in Rapid Chess. And in today's video, we're gonna go over three games that I played and then we're gonna play an online game. So let's get into it. This was the first game. These games, I usually play right after losing <laughs> the game uh, from the previous day, but this is how it started. And so far it's all normal stuff in the Peart's defense. And then apparently here, I should have taken, and then I have this fork, and um, this is a typical kind of trick, quote unquote, but I didn't see it. And the reason why this works is because if he takes, I could probably make him not castle, and I'll win this pawn back later, I think. Um, so this is interesting, or maybe I could fight for it right away. I don't know, I didn't look at all this. This loses the rook. Very cool stuff. Anyway, instead I play like this. Attack the knight, we trade, and um, I just have this really nice pawn. I think I had to spend resources on protecting this pawn. Computer wants me to go a5, probably to go a4, probably to go a3, I'm assuming. And this would have been a real thorn in my opponent's side, I think. But I don't play it like that. I kind of let him take it. I should have fought for it, really. And I we start moving pieces around, and you could see... Not really timing it well. I tried to put some pressure here, then I dropped that pressure. Then a little later on, I continued the pressure there and I finally took. And here I'm just up uh, two pawns. So computer puts me at a very high winning position. And I just completely miss this rook. I, it's like I have brain fog. I don't know how I missed such a move, but okay, it was 39 moves of decent okay-ish moves until this move. He takes my rook, but I don't give up. He doesn't trade queens, and I'm determined not to trade queens either, and tr to try to, you know, get into a better position. So I purposefully go for this, trying, I see here that I'm just getting a, um, a drawn position, possibly. Um, in fact, I was not getting a drawn position, because after g1, um, I don't know, computer says I'm not. It feels like I am here, though. So maybe computer doesn't know what it's saying. Anyway, I purposefully make this e3 move to make him think because I see he has 3.2 seconds left. He checks me, but I saw I have an escape square. And if this, I always have this. So I, I won on time. This is really cool. The next game, we're going to Vienna Gambit. But he plays this pawn move, which people have been playing a lot um, with me lately. Usually, I think the book move or the most common book move was this. And then the game kind of continues. You could take here, you could take back, and um, white might have a strong center, and the game continues. But a lot of times lately, people play this d6 move. I still try to play, you know, what I think is okay. Back at the center, I take, and um, here I thought I would, kind of clever, I don't know, I was playing fast. Obviously, just to get my queen in, I put the bishop there, but it's also like, I don't know, I thought I had a trick here. <laughs> This is just a bad move because my queen is forced to protect the bishop. And I just make keep making bad after bad move. I blunder a whole knight. I don't know how I missed that. And this bishop is still hanging. But I'm trying to play it okay. Here I got lucky. I had a counter attack. I couldn't take because then I lose the rook here. That's pinned to my king. And, and so the game proceeds like this. And it kind of equals out somehow. Here he brings his queen. I take. I was kind of hesitant to do that. And I come in with this. Apparently, I spent like a minute thinking here. This is just beautiful. I thought, what do I do after this? I didn't realize, boom, queen protects the rook. And this is leading to mate. I didn't see this. Instead, I take here. I check. Um, I check. I take. And now I'm just up a piece. And there's going to be mate pretty soon. Again, I kind of was scared to give my, my opponent opportunities to kind of counterattack. But there was nothing to be scared of here. I trade queens for good measure. And it actually becomes a more complicated game than it should have. I trade rook, so he just has a knight. And I kind of let him take all my pawns. I didn't play this well. And um, that's it. Like, I'm kind of losing my advantage because this is threatening to promote. Um, but he takes, I take. And I just try to play fast. I learned this trick that actually helped me. Uh, I don't remember where I saw or heard about this. If your king is in front of the knight... 
not diagonal to the knight, but in front of the knight, there's no way for the knight to check you. So this trick kind of helps me play faster in this end game. You could see when there's when it's uh, diagonal, he could check like this. He could check like this. But when it's in front, he has no way of checking. None of these work. So this is like a cute little trick that I just kept in mind, which helped me um, win this end game. Obviously, I can't trade because then I lose. So I just try to keep my king and rook a little bit far from each other. And then he ran out of time, and I'm always threatening uh, checkmate here. This is a drawn position because he could just... Well, this doesn't work, this, then he runs into checkmate. But he could just keep checking and kind of going around, and... Yeah, I thought that was really cool. And then the last game I played, I lost. <laughs> the last game I played, I lost. I I looked at my insights, I don't know if... I think I mentioned it yesterday. I'm really bad at queen pawn openings, maybe I didn't. My statistics on queen pawn openings in the past 90 days have been really, really horrible. Um, so I was like, I want to actually just try this again. I go for these types of moves. I don't fall for the knight and bishop trick. I fell for it so many times I realized that the rook to c8 is the move. And here I should have taken with the pawn for more center control, but it, the game ends up coming like this. And I don't, I always forget these like minimal move queen checks when the queen doesn't move that far and checks like I I miss it for some reason this has always been a problem of mine but I kind of equalized the game somehow and over here apparently this was an equal position which looks kind of crazy to me and I guess the idea is that I'm just down a pawn and this knight is not really in the game I, I don't know maybe that we could double these pawns it's maybe that this might get double I, I'm not I'm not entirely sure but yeah, uh, I proceeded to lose that game. And I played some Blitz and Bullet, lost a bunch of ELO, and now we are here. Boom. Wait, let me go into full screen. Okay, we're gonna go into our Pierts. <clears throat> the Bishop move. Oh, okay. This is a classical variation. This is all standard stuff. This pawn move makes me scared of castling, but I'm still gonna castle. Okay, maybe I should have been scared of castling. Um, I could counterattack though. If I take, I'm allowing another piece into the territory here. It doesn't make sense. Go here. He could put the knight forward. Let's see. If we come here and he takes, takes, that's losing. If he brings the knight forward, we can target the knight. Let's do this. I was thinking there might have been some fork ideas, but I don't think they work. Should we take the bishop? Yeah, usually this bishop gets traded off with the knight. I don't know about usually, but a lot of times it feels that way. I want to push this pawn, but then takes, takes, takes. I don't really like how this position is looking. Then again, he can't castle now, which is great. He didn't take with the rook, which is really weird. We could add more support, but is this too slow? No, I think this is okay. Here... It is a little tricky, though. I think it's okay, and then we're gonna go for this push. Computer will prove me right or wrong. Okay, if he takes, we just take back, maybe. I didn't see this. This is a very typical idea I should have seen. Now we can take, he can take. Let's see, takes, takes. Takes, threatening to take a queen. So he has to take. Ah, uh, takes, 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 takes. Here, 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 queen. We're left with knight, rook, queen, rook. He's left with queen, rook, rook. Did I calculate that right? Let's see what happens. Oh, he might just take with the knight right away here. But then I think we can take with our knight. There's some tricks maybe with rook d1 though. He takes, we take. He takes, we take, he pushes, we take, he takes, we take, he takes. 
Maybe we even come here, go for a trade or something. Or we come here trying to attack his king. I mean, he hasn't castled something to keep in mind. And what if he takes with the knight, which is something I would consider if I were him, right? Okay, he takes there. Oh, this knight is hanging at the end of my line. I didn't see this. This was a bad move. See, that's why I should take the extra time to think it through. Right here, I take three points. I mean, it's still okay. Takes, takes. Rook attacks, and maybe I can target this. Um, now here, 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 here. King comes back. If we could target this queen with this knight, that would have been nice. This works, but then takes. Takes, yeah, I think we just take here. Okay. We kick the queen away. He could come here. Oh. Hmm. I'd rather take a center pawn. This is how I'm thinking. Could come here, maybe. Okay. Now we can take a center pawn. He can check. We go back. Or we push the pawn. No, no, no. Yeah, we have to go back because then we lose the knight. Another idea is take here. Push. It's tricky. It's very tricky. Take. He can push. We take. He takes. A lot of pressure here. Um, I'm going to take this first. Comes with the check, we just bring the knight back. We don't want to spend too much time. Oh my god. I completely missed that. That's okay. It's not the end of the game. That was very bad. This is hanging. This is hanging. Does so he he can come here defending the knight? This is very tricky. Um This move looks nice too though. Then he could come here defending the knight. Ooh, here, here, here. Knight takes though. Go with this first and then this maybe. Oh, uh, his rook might come here. Very tricky. Yeah, I don't know what the hell this does. Actually, this helps us even more. <laughs> no? Am I crazy? Now we're threatening this. We're threatening this. I think this just loses the game on the spot. Okay. I didn't really see this, though. I'm thinking here, here, here. He doesn't have a discovered check, so we won't hang our queen. But is there something better? There might be. There might be something better. I don't know if I see it. Let's go for this. We're winning, but we have to be very careful. Well, it seems like we're winning. I don't know. There might be some trick here that I'm missing with some check and then bringing the knight closer. Maybe. Definitely a tricky position. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm tempted to just bring the king back. Uh, bringing it forward looks insane. And uh, we still have time to think, so. Can't check. We can take this. Wow, we can't actually check from here. That's kind of crazy. Um, the knight can come closer. But I think we could just get away with checks and stuff, so take. Don't think I'm missing anything here. We might have some sort of check on the king soon. This is still not a check, actually. But maybe queen here to pin the knight would be nice. Then we'll have some way to come in. 
Um, yeah, this looks like an obvious move now, so let's make it. Tax the pawn, tax this knight. And uh, then we can bring our rook maybe here. Not sure. Okay, so he unpins. Damn, this knight is doing God's work. Can it go anywhere? I don't think so. Go here? Eh, maybe here was better. It can come here, but I don't think it works. Yeah, this is better. It would have stopped the knight's movement and... Okay, he's not playing like that. Um, he has no check, so we can just pin again and take his knight. Here, takes, check, and there's mate coming. I think my boy is playing too fast here. This doesn't matter. Right? I mean, it can't matter here. I hope it doesn't. It doesn't seem like it would matter. Like, th there's probably this or something, too. <clears throat> what do you have here as white? This is a move. Takes, 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 and we're watching this pawn. Ooh, I almost, <laughs> I almost blundered completely. We also have check. Do I have a faster way to win? I think we might. So many possibilities, but we have two minutes, so simplifying seems best. Let's simplify. Okay, we'll take this. Now we're watching this. Oh, uh, this is just completely winning, right? Yeah. Gotta keep the rook far away from our king, basically. Make the knight move. Ooh, that would have been... Actually, this is fine, because the pawn protects. Go backwards, very nice. Here, he has no checks. He has no... Eh, he does have a check, but... Go here. Okay, let's bring this far away. This is, would be a nice pin. Okay. Here. This is actually a little bit annoying. I think we're okay. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's all we have to wait for. Okay. Let's go. That was a crazy game. A little stressful. Let's see how it went, though. All of this was fine. Yeah, I... You know, looking back, b6 makes more sense. Maybe also to even fee and keto the bishop, add more uh, attack on this diagonal. I think it would have been a very different game, but... Yeah, this bishop move was okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so fee and ketoing made a lot more sense. We're putting more pressure. We could probably kick the queen off and then trade or something. I, I don't know. But then the rook falls, maybe. I don't know. Complicated stuff. Uh, this knight move was too late. I was right. I saw this, you know, this... But I thought, what if he comes in with this knight move? Then what? Uh, computer says d5, which seems very stupid and crazy to me. What if he attacks our knight? Our knight comes forward, attacking his queen. He can take. We can take back. This pawn looks like a goner. It looks like it's... But I guess we're putting pressure here, too. If he comes here to try to trade, we can take, but then he loses the knight. Hey, actually pretty interesting. Maybe I should have gone into that. My instincts told me to go into that, but instead he goes h6, and here I blunder. Really? Oh, because I would just be I would be up a pawn here, right? Taking. I just didn't want his queen here, but because I thought you know he has pressure here, maybe with this pawn move or something. But um, 
Apparently, I have h5. Oh, there's no pawn that could kick the knight out. What insane... Are these not insane moves? Like, this op this opening leads to such interesting positions. So here, he messed up. And I did not. I thought the pawn move was, was good because of this. But I didn't count all of this correctly. And this, yeah. Th this I saw as a clear blunder. This was just a very bad move. Very bad move. So... I mean, okay, this knight move was not good. I should have uh, stopped this stuff from happening. If this, I probably... Well, now I could take. So maybe he brings the queen back to protect or something. Or Okay, but this is... this is, Or he develops a rook. Um, so this was all okay. I saw this check. I didn't see the knight capture. And then this, I thought was... Oh, yes, that was... You know, it, it doesn't count as a brilliant move, I guess, because I took a piece, but I thought that was... Or I don't know why it doesn't, but I thought that was really cool. And here it was kind of... I just had to be careful. Um, You know, I I think I saw this, but I didn't do it for some reason. Like, I don't know, this looks so confusing. Um, But I guess it's the same idea I'm pinning him. So why is my move not as good? He could have came here. I mean, yeah, there was there was a better move than trading, but I feel like trading was the easiest thing to do here. And this is all fine. Once he did this, I, I, I think he was trying to flag me or something. I don't know. If he didn't move the knight there, it would have been a little more annoying. I mean, but I guess I had too many ways to annoy um, to annoy him. Like, if he comes here, I have d6. But I would have to calculate and make sure everything's okay here, which is a little bit... Yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. If you watched this far, say yo in the comments. Cause I don't know. Yo-yos. Yo. Have a great one. And bye-bye.